Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we have a, a pretty basic math uh, question here. And I'm saying that half of you are going to get this wrong. Well, I don't know if it's going to be exactly 50% of you, but a lot of you are going to get this incorrect. Now, I'd like you to do this problem without a calculator. So if you use a calculator, the calculator is going to be kind of doing some of the thinking for you. So put your calculator away and see what answer you come up with. Now, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain what's going on in this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so some of you are out there saying, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, no way I'm going to get this wrong. I got this problem. It's just so easy. I mean, I was taught addition, division, multiplication. These problems are, I mean, the numbers are pretty simple. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Okay, so I have two answers here for you. One is 60 and one is 24. Now, I got my lovely little happy face here, A plus 100%. I always kind of like to give this out in my videos. Now, which of these answers is correct? Now, most of you out there probably got one answer or the other, okay? So, what is the right answer? Well, let's see. Is it 24? No, it's not. It's actually 60. 60 is the correct answer. But if you did answer 24, I'm very, very happy that you did, that you made that error. Uh, because I'm going to clear up any confusion that you may have, uh, you know, on this particular problem. Now, some of you might be saying, no way, 24 is the right answer. You're wrong, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You'll be like, no, no, no. I'm just going to like, you know, never watch any one of your videos again. Well, listen, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to set, set you up um, to kind of teach you something or emphasize something that a lot of math students uh, confuse. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this right now. But again, for those of you that did get this right, 60, you might have gotten this right, but you might have got a little bit lucky, right, uh, on this. So you'll kind of see that uh, in a second. You'll know whether you were in control of this problem or you just happened to kind of take the right turn at the right uh, time and get to this destination. But let's go ahead and get into this problem now. So what, a, you know, we have this problem and the question really is like, what do we do first, right? You know, like we have a whole bunch of things going on. We can add, we can divide, we can multiply. Uh, parentheses, this three outside of this parentheses, this is also means multiplication. So what do we do first, okay? Because depending on what order we do this problem, we can come up with all kinds of different uh, possible numbers as the answer. So we need to have some sort of uh, something to tell us, do this first, then do this second, do this third, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that is really kind of the main idea of this uh, problem is what is the order to do these operations? Now, in algebra, these things right here are called, I'm sorry, not well, in algebra, in mathematics, these things like plus, division, multiplication, subtraction, all that kind of stuff. These are called mathematical operators, okay? Well, we have this nice little fancy acronym right here, uh, and it's uh, PEMDAS, right? And uh, there's kind of a little saying that goes along with it. It's called, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But this right here tells us the order of operations, okay? So going back up here, we have addition, division, multiplication. Hey, what do I do first? What do I do second? What what operation do I do first? What operation do second? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And we're not talking about operations like do your uh, you know uh, foot surgery first and then after that get your shoulder replacement second. That's not what we're talking about, right? Uh, that's much more painful than any mathematics that you'll ever study. Okay, so we're talking about the order of operations which we can uh, uh, use this nice little mnemonic, this little memory aid, a little acronym to help us out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right here, PEMDAS, and uh, this is what it tells us. So PEMDAS, again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, probably your great-great-grandparents even uh, learned this little phrase way back in the good old days. So let's uh, start with P, okay? So what does P stand for? Matter of fact, let me kind of just highlight right there. So this means 
parentheses. Okay, so we're always going to do everything inside parentheses. And sometimes math problems have like parentheses within parentheses, like 2 minus 8 plus 1, uh, 3, something like that. So you're going to uh, go to your innermost parentheses first and then just keep working your way out. So when you see parentheses, you're going to focus on what's inside the parentheses first. Okay, so that's P. The E stands for exponents, but you can kind of interpret that as powers. So something like 2 to the third power. So if you see anything with powers and exponents, you're going to want to take care of those things uh, next. All right, so here is where the confusion kind of comes into play for a lot of students. So the next thing is M and D. Okay, so this means multiplication and division. Right, so that's what M and D means. Now, a lot of students, right, and if you made this mistake, I'm glad you did because I'm going to clarify it right now. You're kind of working your checklist here from left to right. So when you look at PEMDAS, most students are like, oh, I got to do M, okay, because it becomes, uh, it, uh, it's before D, right, when I'm looking at this thing from left to right. So I must always do multiplication and then I'll do any division. Always, always, always. That's not the case, right? This is, again, one of the greatest places where students confuse the order of operations. What this means is anytime you see multiplication or division, you're going to do whatever comes first from left to right. So if you have multiplication from uh, from left to right, then multiplication, then division, you're going to do that. But if you have division, then multiplication, you're going to do this. Okay, so our little acronym could be DM. All right, but then we wouldn't have that cool little phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we'd have to make something else up, and then we'd have to have two phrases, but you need to interpret this, okay? So M and D means multiplication to division, whatever you see from left to right. So it could be this, and in fact, in this particular problem, this is what's going on. And then that leaves us lastly with A and S, which is addition and subtraction, and it works the same way, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this problem. Okay, so now here I have parentheses, so I have to do everything inside the parentheses first, okay, before I deal with this uh, three on the outside. Now, looking at this problem, a lot of you out there said probably did multiplication, okay? If you got the wrong answer, you went two times two, which I understand why you did that. You were like, PEMDAS, got to do the multiplication before division every single time. No, 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 no. In this case, we have division and multiplication, but what comes first from left to right? Well, division does. So we have to handle this first. Okay, so 16 divided by 2 is what? Well, that is, of course, 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So now our problem is three times, okay, this means multiplication, but we're still working inside the parentheses, so we have four plus eight times two, so it's pretty obvious now that we have to do multiplication before addition, no issues there. So we have eight times two, which of course is 16, so we're still working inside the parentheses, so four plus 16 is what? Well, that's 20. Okay, so 4 plus 16 is 20. Now we're done. There's nothing more to do inside the parentheses. So now we leave the parentheses, and then we take this, and this is multiplication. This means 3 times 20, which, of course, is 60. Okay, so that is the correct answer, but do not feel bad if you got this wrong. Matter of fact, I'm glad that you did. Either way, this is a win-win for all of you out there. If you got this right, it just kind of confirms what you uh, knew. But for those of you that got this wrong, don't be upset. You're like, oh, wow, I actually learned something, and I won't make that mistake again. Believe me, as somebody who's been teaching math for decades, math teachers like to put problems like this on tests and quizzes to try to confuse you, to try to test your understanding of something. Okay, And if you did this with a calculator... Uh, your calculator already has, it, uh, its logic already has uh, the order of operations built in. So that's why I said don't use a calculator uh, to do a problem like this. Now some of you are like, well, I'm just, I don't do math without my calculator. Well, yes, you'll have to do math without a calculator, especially if you're a math student. Your teacher will say, put that thing away because I want to see what the calculator in between your ears tells you what to do. And that's what the whole idea behind learning this stuff is. So again, if you got this wrong, don't beat yourself up. But you do need to practice the order of operations. Okay, so if you need help with this level of math, more help, I'm going to suggest uh, two courses. 
I have a great little mini um, math course called Math Foundations course for those of you that are kind of getting back into math and or like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course, I teach the order of operations in all those courses. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.